So, what have I done this week? Have I worked on any writing scripty type stuff? No, I haven't. It's been a little bit of an overwhelming week because I am going on a trip soon, which means there'll probably be no video this next week, whenever that is. Much like last time I had a topic, I thought I might do another topic, which I've been thinking about today. Uh, hopefully, the video from last uh, last episode, whatever, last week, um, I think it made sense. So if you have any questions about what I talked about, I might extrapolate more about how much I like each of the people that I mentioned because I think all of their videos are amazing and you should totally go check them out and don't be intimidated by the length of the videos. Just, you know, skip around, watch a little bit of, of some. Also, I should probably note that the cinema snob ones can be uh, interesting uh, in that some of the videos he watches are very much for adults. I guess is how I would phrase that. I think sometimes it's good, like also with uh, the Brawls Held High Cal Kagren series, it's good to know what the movie is and whether it's actually a movie you'd want to see because sometimes they show clips and so sometimes I have to check and see, like, do I want to see this terrifying, clips of this terrifying movie um, just to hear some really good analysis or or get a joke or should I just skip this review and wait for another one in which that I can watch it without, you know, being really freaked out about tree trunks that turn into giant monsters that eat everybody. That's actually a really good episode of Brawls Held High. Also, warning, we have another situation where my hand is shaking a little bit, so I might have to like switch hands like this. Is that better? Yes, I think that's better. I don't know. So, uh, topic, right. Besides the fact that I should probably buy some sort of tripod or a selfie stick or whatever, uh, which I will do someday, you know, doing research for this kind of stuff, like what kind of camera to buy and how to edit things and stuff like that is really overwhelming. It's just, it's too much. And I also feel like I don't know what the rules are. And that's sort of the topic for this video. I have like three minutes left on my camera, so we'll see how it goes. Often when I have a new thing that I'm interested in, I usually do it, uh, you know, on my own without videotaping <laughs> talk, me talking about the process. But when I feel like I don't know the rules to something, then I usually am much more hesitant and I feel like I need to know how, how to do things and, and how I'm supposed to do things. And I think one of the reasons that I feel pretty okay doing these videos is because everybody does it so differently. So there are people who just do the talking head thing I'm doing right now and then there's people who are amazing. Like, um, I would say Wheezy Waiters videos are really, really good. Um, I'm going to link to one. I sent it to my friend Samantha, who you've seen on this show. And... And then I see that and I think, oh God, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? I don't know. I don't understand any of that. I don't know how he does any of those things. Um, and uh, it, in that situation, we're going to have to cut. Cut this. What, this is running out of time. I knew I should have... Things. So, okay. I'll be back in a second. Just, just hold on one second. Bye. And we're back. It's more time this time, I think. So, yes. I was talking about Weezy Waiter and how he's amazing at at everything he does, as far as I know, based on his videos. <laughs> what I'm talking about is, you'll see, just watch the video that I linked to. Um, it, he, his flight gets delayed, he's in San Francisco, his flight gets delayed, and he goes on a little adventure in San Francisco, and it's, I think it's pretty great. Uh, and I, I like how he is uh, very capable of being silly on camera, and I aspire to that, um, which <laughs> I'm going to reference what happened in the previous, to me from the previous video, by previous, I mean the one second ago one, uh, wherein I spent time on the camera singing along to some gem songs like this. Very badly, I might add, but like this. Music is magic, cuts through sadness like a knife. Something of a miracle. Music is the sweet, sweet sound of love. Sets you free. To see the world the way it ought to be. And then I was like, okay, pause that. And uh, I kind of would want to start the video that way, but um, I don't want to include the parts that were very badly singing because I am capable of singing well at times, which sounds very humble. I know I'm just super humble about that. I, I felt awkward beginning the video that way, because I, I feel like that, well, I'm not allowed to do that because nobody has given me permission, which is ridiculous because who, who is going to give me permission to do those kind of things? So there are times when I have felt very like, well, 
I can't do that. That's not the thing that I do. I mean, even growing up, I always felt like, oh, well, that, you know, uh, let's see, Sanrio would be a good, you know, Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty's everywhere now. But in elementary school, like, you got to pick the one that was yours. So, like, Kuropi was, like, my character. And somebody else had Hello Kitty. And someone else had, like, all the other ones. Everybody kind of divvied them up. And I just have sort of followed that throughout my life. And I keep having to remind myself, nobody's going to give you permission to do the things that you like if you don't know anything about them and you need to go and learn but then I feel sort of embarrassed asking questions or you know what if I get something wrong and it's that old mantra of being a perfectionist that well you're gonna mess up so why even try just enjoy other people doing it well who cares it, it, you don't need to try it's it doesn't like it, like it matters it's just nobody's gonna pay attention to you so don't try which is the opposite of how it should work uh, duh, right? It's the opposite of how it should work. How it should work is like, nobody's really paying attention, so why don't I try and see how that goes? But then, you know, if I want to learn how to do cool things uh, with editing and cameras and blah, 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 which, you know, there's only so much time in a day. And I also have a job and uh, comic books to read, which the most important is reading all of the comic books. Um, maybe next video I'll show you my comic book collection uh, since I'm going to my parents' house where most of my comic books are. I can give a little tour. There's just so many things to do and I want to do a lot of things, but then I don't because the little voice in my head tells me what's the point. This is not where I thought this video was going to go. I, maybe I'm going to try to be a little bit more silly on these, on these uh, vlogs to kind of practice, I guess, uh, so that when I do do... When I do actually write some scripts and, and film them, I can do fun, silly stuff. The other thing I'm not sure about is like, where and when it's okay to film things. Um, for example, I went to a tattoo festival with my brother yesterday, and uh, this is this is basically the kind of footage I took. Like, like, oh, let me just show you. It's like this. No, oh, sorry. It's not gonna be on your. No, I'm gonna try to do like a voiceover. I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna try. Either that, or it's gonna be me telling you that I'm gonna try to do a voiceover. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do a voiceover. I'm gonna try and do a voiceover. I'm, gonna try I'm, I'm, I'm including this now. <laughs> Everything that you just said. <laughs> and I just wasn't sure. I didn't want to make people uncomfortable. And, and I've seen other people who um, who will put their camera down and then like go eat. And there'll be other people in the background. And I just don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if that's. I mean, it's it's okay. I don't think that they're doing anything bad. But I don't know if that's something that I want to do. And then it's kind of nerve-wracking when they're like, oh, well, no, 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 uh, like, big equipment type fancy cameras, obviously. And if it doesn't say explicitly that you can't put it on YouTube, then I shouldn't care, right? Yeah, so I guess it's the other thing, the perfectionist and the, like, not wanting to get in trouble. <laughs> and then there's the whole issue of, like, the, the guy who dresses up a Deadpool, one of the guys, D-Pity. Check out his YouTube channel, I'll also link to it. Where he creates these videos where it looks like he's messing around with people and bugging people and stuff. But he always asks permission before he does any of those things. And some people don't realize that, and then they end up being jerks to people because they're like, Oh, I'm wearing a Deadpool costume! I can do whatever I want to anybody and nobody will get mad! Or I won't get in trouble! So, you know, I'm trying to figure out what that line is, but the only way for me to figure that out is to ask questions and put myself out there and, you know, remember my mantra that at times, not always, but at times, embarrassment is the key to freedom. You know what I'm going to do? I think next time, aside from updating you on my writing, which I'm, I'm hoping I might be able to have some free time during my trip to work on that reminder. Honestly, like doing this video is just a really big reminder of, you know, work on that. Um, but I, maybe I think these videos would be a good time to practice learning how to be on camera, uh, and how to be silly and not just have these extraordinarily boring backgrounds. <laughs> I'm real good at that. Uh, anyway, I did want to recommend, if you're a fan of Gem and the Holograms, listen to the Gem Jam. That is a really fun Gem and the Holograms podcast, poking fun at it in a very loving way. As a kid, I never realized what a jerk Rio is, but he's still kind of, I kind of like Rio. I'm happy he's a good guy in the comics. Anyway, okay, so next time, silly antics and comic books. That's my promise to you. So, thanks for listening. Bye!